Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I have a bead haul to show you guys from BB Craft. And I will put links to everything that I got down there in the description bar. And if you're interested in anything, make sure that you do an order soon. Because all the time when I do these bead hauls, I'll post links in the description bar to everything I got so you guys can get it too. And then what I do is I, I make a tutorial using those things. And then I have to go fetch the links again and put them in the description. And like everything that I showed you guys in the haul sold out so if you're interested in these things make sure you get them soon and by the way I do have a coupon code to share with you guys and I will put that up now on the screen and I will also put that coupon code down there in the description bar alright so let's get started so I'm going to show you the things that I got in smaller packages first, and then I'll go on to the bigger things. So right here is a bag that's full of some small goodies. I found some really interesting things in the site that I've never seen before that I'm super excited about. These here are brass. They're 5 millimeter spacer beads. I think that they're not coated, but they might be. Um, I have to go back and look, but um, I got two brass beads that are unplated. This is a rose gold color. These ones might be plated. I'll show you when I get the other ones out. But they're beautiful. They're super heavy, really heavy. I, I've never had metal beads this heavy before. They have really awesome holes. They're going to have to do macrame, which is why I got them. And I just love the quality. They're incredible. They're not hollow. You know how a lot of metal beads that are round like this, it's like a flat piece of metal. For example, a crimp cover. You know how a crimp cover is hollow inside? How it's a thin piece of metal that's bent into a round shape? And then when you put it onto your crimp, how you have to close it? Well, the inside of a crimp is hollow. And a lot of round metal beads are like that. These are not. These are solid. So they can't be crushed like those metal beads I'm talking about. And they are just so gorgeous. If you look in the hole of a metal bead, you could tell if it's hollow or not. You can also tell if it's lightweight. But um, it's hard to tell if it's lightweight if you only have one of them, you know, compared to having several. But yeah, I just love those. They are so beautiful. I'm really excited to play with those. I know that they will fit on my cord, and I might actually be able to get two pieces of cord to the hole. I'll see. I just hope that they work with the knots that I plan to do. And again, they're at 5mm, which is a size that I don't find often. I have them in my stash. And then I got these here because this is my favorite color. And I have a lot of Czech Fire Polish beads, which Czech Fire Polish is an oval shape. And I have bicones, but I don't have many round faceted glass beads. And these here are my favorite color. They're 4 millimeter, and there are 10 strands of these. There is a luster finish on them. They're beautiful. They're in round strands instead of the hank. Like, and last night, I got, I got this in late yesterday, this package, and last night when I was looking at these, I actually swore that some of them had, like, a gold tone to them, and then other ones had, like, a luster finish, so I'll straighten them all out and see if I can see it again. I don't, I don't know if this was, I was in a different room. It could have been the lighting. But let me see. Yeah, I see it again. Uh, this one here has like a golden, this one, this one, that one, sort of. It just has like, I don't know, it's very subtle. A lot of the times I see these little details and nobody else sees them. I even ask like my family if they see like seed bead colors. Like I'll have two seed beads and they both look like they're the same color but when you put them into a light 
you could tell that they're slightly off. Everybody else thinks they look the same, but I can actually see a difference in them. Because they were made at different places at different times. But yeah, I love these so much. They are just gorgeous. And I'll show you the whole size. They do have small holes. I'm hoping they will work with the macrame, though, that I got. My bag fell on the floor. Something fell down there. Alright, and then I got some of these, which I'm thinking I probably should have ordered two strands of these. This is Dragon Vein Agate in purple. This is the first time I've ever had Dragon Vein Agate. They are really cool. Look at that. I love agate and jasper beads. Oh my gosh. I love gemstones that have a lot of like stripes and patterns on them. Like each individual bead is so different. Look at that. They're so cool. And I also got these here which I've actually ordered these a second time and I didn't realize it. I must have had these in my cart and left them in my cart or something. I don't know. Somehow I, I've ordered these twice, but that's okay because they are gorgeous. I love the color. But um, yeah, I thought they were going to be, um, they're very peachy. On my camera, they actually look lighter. I don't know if it's going to look different on the computer, but they're a very peachy, orangey color. On the computer screen, they look like um, a cream. But they're very peachy, and I like these two together. Those are pretty. And these are small. It's on the bag. Where'd the bag go? Three millimeter? They're pretty small. They're smaller than these. And then these, which I've had forever on my wish list. And I just now got them. They're Chloe's and A beads. I thought they would be a little bit bigger. I think these were six millimeter. But they're so small. And I'm happy about this. Because sometimes when I get beads, I feel like they're too big. But the size of these is perfect. And look at how pretty. There's so many colors. And in case you didn't know, these are metal beads with a glass enamel. All that color that you're seeing is glass enamel. And I believe they're handmade. They're so pretty. I love the size. Very happy with the size of them. There's a bunch of colors in there. There's 200 pieces, which is a lot. Everywhere else that I've seen these beads is so overpriced and expensive. They're a really good price on these. 200 pieces. Right there. And then I got um, Antique Brass Lobster Claw Class because I'm running out of these. I use Antique Brass Metal Findings and Chain like more than any other color. And I only have... I think it was three class left, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I better order more. And BB Craft has 200 of these right there. I think it was like $8 for this. What is that? Beads? Yeah, beads. Funny. Sometimes when I order stuff, I'll get something different in there. Is there any other thing in here? Funny thing. I don't see anything else. But I love how chunky they are. Look at how chunky that clasp is. It's a nice hole. It's like the perfect size lobster claw. So I need these really bad. And I can use these with my macrame cord, my Chinese nylon nylon cord, because of the hole there, if I wanted to. Oh, there's another bead, unless that one came off. 
the pile. No, that's the. That is another one. There's four of them. All right. Then I got these here. These are unplated. I know these are for sure brass. I think that these are plated, but it didn't say it. I don't remember it saying it in the description of those. There were several different ones I was looking at, by the way. That's why I'm a little confused. I think I had like six or seven of them, but I only ordered four. So there's a hundred in this bag. These are crescent moons. These are unplated brass beads. They are so cool. And they're solid. Very heavy. These cannot be crushed. See there the hole you can see inside? But they're solid beads. They're really cool. Man, they're heavy. I really love these. I think they're going to look, gonna look awesome in designs, too, because of where the hole is at in the bead. I think it would look neat with, like, it going in either direction. Like, with a round bead, it could either be this way or that way. It would just look really neat. I'm very excited to play with these. But, by the way, there's great prices on these beads. I went on, before I found these on BB Craft, I went on to eBay because I was looking for some unplated brass beads and they are so expensive I don't know if the people were just overpriced I didn't make the order and I was just waiting because I wanted to see if I can find them other places because sometimes I feel like um, people on eBay mark stuff up way more than it's worth and they're just ripping people off these here out of all the metal ones I got are my favorite they are so tiny. I did not know they were going to be this small. In the picture, they look bigger, of course, but you always have to read the size. But look at how tiny. These are unplated brass. Again, they're very heavy. I will definitely be ordering these again. Look at how little. They are precious. They have really nice size holes. These will work on a slon cord because of their hole size. And guess how many beads are in this bag? 1,000 pieces. So yeah, if you go to order these, make sure you look around because like I said, I only got four of them, but there was a lot more to choose from. I'm hoping they're going to get more unplated brass beads in. I love these so much. And these here, those are unplated. This one I'm not sure about, but I know that this one is. Which is making me think that one is. So here is 1,000 beads again. These were 5 millimeter. These, I think, were three. I do not remember the size of these. I want to say these are three. You'll see down there in the description, if you go click, you'll see what size they are. These are solid brass, too. With a rose gold plating. And right here, where the bag opens. I love these. Again, I think these will work on my super long cord. Again, these are solid. These are not hollow.
Okay, and I believe that's everything for my bag. Yes, so I'm going to move this stuff to the side and show you what else I got. I got these here. These are rondelles. I think they're 4 by 6. Yeah, 6 by 4, 4 by 6. Same thing. Anyways, I always go for opaque colors, and I love um, milky colors. And these here are so pretty. I hope the color is showing up good in my camera. It's a very beautiful pink. There is 20 strands here. These are AB finish. Or is it luster? I actually can't tell. I want to say it's AB. These look really pale on my camera, but they are much darker in person. There is a ton of beads here. They are gorgeous. And look at this pink with this turquoise and the rose gold. I love that. What about this peach? Mm, I don't know about that. But this maybe? Yeah, I think I like that. Oh, here's the gold. Love pink and turquoise. Alright, next thing is... I'll go to this. These are ceramic. I got these because I'm working on a bracelet right now. It's going to be an epic design. I started working on the beginning of it, but I didn't get to the middle part yet. I was just using some leftover cords, but I needed um, a bead like this that has big holes. And I went on the BB Craft and found these. Is this stuck on? Is it tape? Oh, it's just tight. It not stuck at all. Oh, it was sticky. Look at how many are in this box. Really gorgeous colors, too. I do have a broken bead in here. But that's okay. I know that happens. all of these colors. The yellow one is really cool and I'm not a huge fan of yellow. But look at this yellow. There's actually like a beige in it. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Those are really pretty. Maybe I'll use this one in my bracelet. Depending on if it matches my seed beads or not that I'm wanting to use. Here, I'll show you the orange. I love the brown on it. Those are gorgeous too. The green is to die for, and it looks like there's a lot of green in here. It's like that mint green, kind of turquoise like. So pretty. I also like the beige one. These are gorgeous. Alright, big container. Moving on, I got these seed beads here to do with the macrame. But, they might have too small of holes. They're 8 seed beads. Which it doesn't say on the box. Those are 3 millimeter. I've gotten striped seed beads from BB Craft before in a um, 12-0 and 6-0. I actually have them right here in front of me. I'll get them out and show you the difference. So 
So these ones here, is it taped? Nope. These ones here are Eidos. They're striped. They're not perfectly uniform, but that's okay. I use seed beads that aren't uniform and that are uniform. I find that they all have their purpose. All beads do. Um, I love all wooden beads, acrylic beads. Really, there's not a bead that I don't like. And um, I feel like they all serve their purpose. You just have to find what they're best to do with. So, like, these here are great for stringing projects. There are beads in here, in case you didn't know, that are uniform. You just have to pick through them and see, but you will find beads that are uniform. In a container of beads that look like they're not all uniform. I do that all the time. Especially if there's a color that I love and I really need them to be uniform, I will pick through the beads. But anyways, we have some orange and white striped here. This is black and blue, red and yellow, chartreuse green, which I love, and white. And this here is a really cool red. It kind of looks like a kidney bean color with white. Then we have red, white, and blue, green and white, and yellow and brown. They're so pretty, and they're even prettier when you mix them all together. And again, this is the 8 -0. And then these here are some that I ordered in the past. These are 6 -0s. And I'll show you the color difference. So you can see they're not the same colors. They don't have the same. I'll open it again. There's another striped seed weed that I didn't get. This is the new one, by the way. They've had the 6 -0s and the 12 -0s for a while. But there is another one on the site. Actually, I wonder if I have 11 of those. I might have 11. There's like four different containers. But here are the colors so that you can see the colors you get. In case you want them. I've used these in earrings. They're so cool. And then here are the smaller ones. And these are either 11 or 12. I think they're 12. And see how all the colors are different? Like, they don't those ones are so gorgeous they all three of them do though have the white and green one yeah in different sizes and these two have red and blue in different sizes all right so I just wanted to show you the difference there some cord and I got two of these because they were smaller spools than what I usually order these I think were 49 yards and I usually get the 100 yards so I got two of these and this is actually a different brand it's a salmon color it's really pretty it actually looked more pink took that away it's supposed to the camera lighting it actually looked more pink on the computer but now that I have it it is more of a coral peachy color it's called salmon I guess it is more salmon color but it looks really pink to me on the camera but you know how on not the camera the computer monitor but you know how that always happens how the computer and even cameras can make colors look different so I got two of these Because it is a smaller spool. And by the way, this is the point zero size. That's the size I am loving to do macrame with, micro macrame. It's like the perfect size for seeing the knots, but not too small to work with. You know what I mean? Because I feel like some. Um, cords can be too small looking and it doesn't show off the knot as well and then I got another color here this one I think was called chocolate where does it open um, all this time I've been working with Chinese nylon knotting cord the .08 in a size from BB craft that was a multi-pack that has white, black, brown, those basic colors, and then it has like three other uh, neutral, organic looking colors, which I love, and I've been using it so much, and I saw that they have new colors available, so that's why I got these. 
there's still more. You can actually buy big like kits of these cords, but I think they are smaller spools. The one that I got that was a six pack, they were all I think a hundred yards on each spool, so they were big. Like this one here, this is a hundred yard spool. But um, I saw that the other ones that you can get where it's like 12 different colors, which are beautiful colors, I think those are smaller spools, like this one here. This one is smaller. So this was like 49 yards, and this one is 100 yards. And there's the color. Really neat. It's kind of rusty, caramel looking. It's pretty. It actually kind of has like a golden color to it. It's like rusty, caramel, golden. That's all that I could say to explain that. And I got this color here, of course, because it's my favorite, the turquoise color. And I think it looks really good with the salmon. I actually like all three of these together. They're pretty. It's kind of hard to see with the cellophane in there. But look at that. Aren't those pretty? And I got this color here purple I love how they package everything every time I get an order from BB craft everything is packaged so well I've never seen another company pack their packages like BB craft does they will have something for example did you see that one package earlier this is in a bag in a bag this one was in a bag, in a box, in a bag, and then it was in a, a bigger bag, and then it was wrapped in bubble wrap, and then it was in a box. So whenever I go to open these boxes on camera, like the first time I did it, I didn't realize that there was going to be so much packaging, so from now on, I have to take and go through everything and depackage a lot of it, so it doesn't take up as much time to show you guys, because everything is so well cared for. Here is the purple. There was another purple that I didn't get. I think I didn't get it because it was a smaller size, like this one here. So I ended up winning, going with this one. But um, the other purple is a, a pale, like, lavender color. was gorgeous. This one's darker. And this one's actually looking blue on my camera. And I need to get a new camera. I've had the same camera for nine years, so i got to work on that. Save money for that big purchase. And then I did get more cord because I use these two colors so much and I was shocked to see, this is a box that comes in by the way, that it had, they were selling such huge spools. Does it say the size on here? It just says one roll. I think this was 300 yards. There is a lot here. Um... I might have had this in two more colors. Oh, here it is. There's the size. 0 0.8. I'm going to try and taste that to the top of the spool. So don't lose it. There we go. But um, I think there was 300 yards in here. And I just love this stuff because... It is nylon and you can melt it. You don't have to use glue so it doesn't fall apart. It's easier to hide and conceal your knots at the end of a project and it's just so easy to work with. It's not twisted cord, it's braided. See that? So it doesn't unravel as easily. I just love this stuff. And this is the black. But I also got it in my other color that I use all the time, brown. This one's called Coconut. Look at that pretty brown. I love these three together. Turquoise, brown, and peach. Super pretty.
So there's those two colors. So I actually got several spools here, as you can see. And again, this bowl's smaller than those other ones. And I have a few more bags left to show you. I do need to make some room, though. So I got this gigantic bag here. I think there's 10 strands in here. It's a thousand grams, which is actually two pounds. I don't know if you knew that or not. 500 grams is one pound. This came in two colors. I got the white one. The other one was called Lemon Chiffon. They're both beautiful. But um, I went with this color because I think I would use it more often than the other color. And these are just stunning. This is a man made bead. By the way. Look at how pretty. They look like bone. Stone. They look ancient. That's why I got them. Because I love the ancient look. I do have a couple strands there that opened. But look at that. Is there a ton of beads here? Look at all these. They're gorgeous. Oh, and I gotta point out the whole size. Look at the whole size. I can use this on macrame. I'm so excited. Here's my cord. Let's see. I might have to burn the end to pass it through better. I'm gonna do it right now. Alright. Yes, look at that. And I think if I really fidget with it, I can get through a second time. Because look, there is still room in there. So I think this had a 1 millimeter or 1.5 millimeter hole. Alright, I'm going to put this back and show you my next thing. Which is pretty big bag. 500 grams. I'm excited. I can't wait to go through it with you guys. It's closed, so I, I don't know what's all in it until I go through it with you. Okay, here is the last thing that I got. I am so excited about this. I've ordered beads like this before. Not from BB Craft, from somewhere else. And it's a 500 gram bag of acrylic beads. They're aged looking. They look like they're from another time. And they are just the coolest. All different sizes, shapes, the designs on them, the patterns are unbelievable. This is such a huge variety mixture. They look like they're bone. They look carved. 500 grams. There was two or three other ones that I didn't get, but I would like to go back and get them. I actually think that I got a mix that is a little bit different than what was on the screen. It said when you make the order that you might get a slightly different mix. But um, anyways, there is such a huge variety here, and I'm going to go through it with you guys, and um, it's really cool. So, from looking the outside of the bag, I saw this elephant. The hole goes to the center. I've never seen this bead before. He is so cool. My mom loves elephants, and I showed this bag to her when I got it. And I think she's just as excited about this as I am. Actually, I think out of everything here, this was her favorite. Because she, she stared at this bag for a long time. But look at those. Aren't they cool? They're so neat. And then these big ones here. Look at the patterns. The rose is gorgeous. They all have nice size holes. Like some have big holes for doing macrame and stuff. And then, or a piece that has several... Um, multiple strands that go through it. 
So like, for example, this here would be great for a multiple strand piece. These are great for tassels. I've used these beads for, tassel for tassels. I have tutorials where I've done large hole beads like that because you could pass your thread or cord through the bead several times. And these are great for bracelets, for like a bead cap. I just dropped one. You know how sometimes you can make multi-strand necklaces or bracelets and at the end you'll have a bead cone and you'll have several beads going into that? You can use this kind of bead for something like that. Because the hole is so big, they work great for stuff like that. So here are some of the big ones. Really neat patterns. I also like that there's really tiny ones in here. There, I would actually say that there's more small ones than there are big ones, and I like that because in the past when I've ordered a mix like this, and it was from a different company, I had so many that were just huge beads. But this one here is really a variety. Look at this one. This is gorgeous. I love those flowers. The camera's not focusing very well. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Wow, look at this. Very fancy. Here's some long ones. Big holes. Small holes. There's a bunch of charms in here. And then sometimes you'll find an oddball bead, like a dice. There's another elephant. There are butterflies in here. This is a big one, but there's also little ones. Where'd he go? I just had them right here. See the small ones? I like the color a lot. And these are so cute. I love these so much. It's a bear. It's a little bear charm. Look at the detail in his face. They're so stinking cute. And oh, there's moons in here. There's a moon. Look at the hole. It's right there. And I'm just going to get a little scoop. There's so much to go through. I'm going to be organizing these all, by the way. I'm going to get my containers from the Dollar Tree, my little square tubs. And I'm going to put these in those. I'm going to sort through all of them. Look at that one. It almost looks like a soccer ball. This bead here. I have this in metal. And I have used this bead a lot. So there's actually beads in here. That they use the same mold. For metal. That one's cool. I love that one. That one's pretty too. These saucers, look at how cool it is. It looks very ancient. Doesn't it look old? These are cool. I actually have those in metal also. This one's awesome. I used this bead before in a necklace. I think mine were turquoise or pink. I love the details. There's a lot of charms. The teddy bear was also a charm. Oh, well, there's another elephant. I got four elephants so far. Oh, wow. Look at this one. I hope I have more of these. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, there's a good there's a good amount. Those are so cool. Some people are like hard on acrylic and plastic beads, like they're against them, but look at how stinking cool these are. They're gorgeous. They actually make me think of a check beads, because there are check beads like this, and they are very expensive. 
This is a more affordable version. Look at that. And one amazing thing about plastic acrylic beads is they don't crack like the glass ones do. I will never use a bead reamer again. I've had a bad experiences with bead reamers and every time I use them they crack the beads. You're supposed to use them with water but I still have the problem with that and I, I don't recommend using them, buying them at all. I'm totally against bead reamers. Look at this one. It looks like an oat or a coffee bean or a calorie shell. Oh my gosh. What is that? Is this like a, a pod? Like a flower pod or something? Seed pod? There's little flowers in here. Where'd it go? I just dropped it. There's so much to look through. I'm probably going to have like 25 different containers. Bicones. This one has a little writing on it. Something. I think this one looks like a grenade. Alright, there's probably still more. Oh, there was crosses. There was crosses that I stole on the outside of the bag, but I haven't seen any yet. Such a huge mixture. Look at all that. I wonder how many bears I got, because I really love the bears. Yeah, so when you go to the store, and if you're going to buy this, you might want to look at the other ones too. I got this color here, this mix, because in the past I got some that were really colorful. I got like pinks, greens, blues, purples, orange, um, red, black. I had some that had gold on them. I got colors like that. So this time I wanted more of the neutral look, so that's why I got these here. But if you look around... They have categories. When you go to BB Craft, go to acrylic beads, I think it is. Click there, and you'll see other ones that look like this mixes, but they're just in different shades. And it's the same amount, 500 grams. And um, there's like two or three other color mixes. And they're awesome deals. Beautiful, gorgeous, unique beads. Um, I'm probably going to order some more in the future because they're so awesome. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that I inspired you and I gave you some ideas. And if you like these beads, go and order some for yourself. And remember, order soon because they sell out fast. And I will be doing tutorials with these. I'm going to have links for all of these beads down there in the description bar. And make sure you use the coupon code to save you some money. This is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure that you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.